Hello, my name is Jonathan Macias and today I will explain how education has been affected by television and how my opinion, which is that television is being abused and being much of a distraction than an educational tool. To prove my point, I will interview my fellow classmates and with three interview questions. One, do you, do you think television has affected the education of the youth? Two, do you think if we continue to watch television and the next generation and their education will be affected? Three, should we put some sort of limit on the amount of television we watch to have some sort of balance between watching too much television and the minimum? And as well as some minor details to continue to prove my point. My name is Jonathan. Hi, I'm Sergio. And today I'm going to see if Sergio thinks if do you think television has impacted the education of the youth? Yes, I do believe that television impacted the education of children because some stuff on television can actually be educational in some aspects of your life. As the Discovery Channel act is really educational because it explains many things in the science of the world today. Like it explains cells and animals which might be important for you in some science classes you may take later on. But at the same time, television can actually make you less, could actually make your education less because if you have to do something and TV's on, you'll usually watch TV and forget all about what your homework and you gotta do. As we can see that there has already been testing over over many courses of facilities and seeing that um, Looney Tunes has been one great um, example of how much we watch today. My name is Jonathan. I'm Johan. <laughs> Um, today I'm going to see if Johan, Johan's opinion on if he thinks if we continue to watch television, will it affect the next generation and their education? Well, it depends what they watch on television. For example, if they watch PBS Kids or Nick Jr., then they're going to get good examples. But if they watch like, um, like if they watch on MTV or something else that involves violence, then they might start being violent. Do you believe if we continue to do this and strain away from good old education, will be based on television? Be based on it? Um, no, I, I don't think television like doesn't teach kids that much, or it's not that important. So you're education. saying, so you're saying we'll be distracted? It's more of a distraction. Yeah. It'll be more of a distraction than being able to use it as a tool and abuse the ability. Yes. Many kids have been more att attached to the electronic devices slash TVs and being much of an obsession to be willing to watch TV instead of going outdoors or being more focused on their education. My name is Jonathan. Hello, I'm Jesse Lego. I'm going to ask Jesse, um, um, should we put a, a sort of a limit on the amount of television we watch of well, education? It well, it depends because do television does have a huge impact on education. It can cause many people to not even study and not even start doing their work. But there shouldn't really be a limit depending on the child. If the child is able to like watch TV and do many certain tasks such as multi tasks like doing their homework and watching TV and they get good grades, I, I say they should have a little more time than Why? other people, and then other children actually Bad. not doing good in school and watching as much TV. Children just don't realize when enough is enough to turn off their cell phones, turn off the TV, get up, do something instead of being limited to the box that they call television or electronics and get up and do something else. In conclusion, we can now see that education and television do not fare well together since television can be misused or abused or not known how to be used correctly to then help us with education and be able to further control ourselves and be able to use the tool known as television to be able to help us with our education to improve ourselves in education, prevent problems or solve the problems or be able to use, use television to then help us in the future without over, over exceeding the limit. And thanks to the three interviews, Jesse, Sergio, and Johan, they further help my explanation go far further and then help me prove my point that television is being used as a distraction than a tool 
But if we do not abuse this tool and use it correctly or learn how to use it correctly, this can be a very, very well, could be one of the best tools we can have now. Thank you.